New project, new folder, new job. Got project folder called training, should have been something else. Job, I'm gonna call it grid lines because that's how I'm gonna organize my file for each thing. All right, so now I'm gonna go import. So now I've got control, I've got a control point file, which is a CSV or an Excel document. And I've also got a DXF file uh, for importing to set out from. Green plus, reference file, scroll up. I got my layout plan. I'm gonna click on settings just to check them. What layers do I want? You can uh, turn some stuff off. Do I want dimensions? I can either turn off the dimensions here, or like I said before, go import, uh, ignore, and see it disappears. So that automatically will find anything with dimensions or dim or whatever that stuff is, and get rid of it because we don't need it. Because it just closes up the screen and we can't see anything. We don't want to click on numbers and whatever. Distance unit, you can change that. Block options will go explode. I'll keep it as import and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and then we've got our, so we'll happily import that tick. So we've got our reference data to set out from, and now we want to import our control file. So the control points is stored as a CSV on our USB. Go to control station. Um, pretty sure you have to, I'll just open it on my tablet so you can see. You have to have Okay, as long as the, your file is in your the data folder, it's all good. So now I've gone to import the CSV. So CSV, like an Excel document, you know, different columns. Well, in this case, the imagine the easting and northing is the wrong way around. So say we've got here, we've got easting, northing, height, code. Okay, so that's wrong. So what we need to do is we click on control for control points, go to control stations, right click, Okay, so we want it to be ID. We want it, it says this because on the Excel document we have it actually labeled as that column, so it helps us know which one's what. So this is an example of what a CSV or control point file you might get from a surveyor that you can use to, on site. So you've got the ID, easting, northing, height, type. So this is all it's gonna be in an Excel document. It's got the point ID, easting, northing, and the height. So when I go to import that, I've got ID, easting, northing, height, code. Cool, field separator, commas good, distance unit, meter, yep. Skip row count, it will automatically skip it if it finds that, but you can help it by clicking plus because I want to skip the first uh, the first row because I don't need to import that and then have that there. Okay, I'm happy. Tick, tick, successful. Go back to home, go back to layout points, and now our file is in there. So, here you can see some columns to set out, and you've got the grid lines, and then you've also got the control points that are there. So maybe when you first get to site, you might just turn off the other one, and just hit those three control points to set up, and away you go. Um, I will show you what it looks like when you insert, uh, do an insertion point rather than uh, explode. So say you want to set out this circle, if I go here to show all points, you'll see that, oh, that's a bad example, isn't it? How about here, there we go. So you'll see, when I, if I was to explode this circle, it would come out, or, or this, this um, symbol here, it would explode it into the two lines plus two semicircles, where because I've imported it as insertion point when I'm in the import settings, We'll say this circle, it's the center of it because the insertion point is the center of that symbol. So that's why, like say that this square, the insertion point is the center of the square, where if I did explode on import, then I'll be able to set out the corners of this square plus the end of each line. So it's kind of like, like you gotta figure out how it was drawn. You can always import it twice, call it something different and import them both at the same time and then use the layers button down here to flick between the two depending on which whether you need to set out the symbols or not. So like a lot of plumbing drawings come like this and you don't want to set out the edges. But then say a builder may want to set out the edge of the columns, but then the column might be a block and you can only set out the center. The center doesn't help in that instance or the center of that circle. So that's how you gotta uh, figure it out.